guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have my, what is it, January 2017 favorites. Um, so before we go any further, of course I will tell you what is on my lips. It's just one item from Buxom. It is their, what do they call this kind? It is their full on lip cream in the, in the scent, um, a ch in, the, in the color Cherry Flip. So that is all that I have on my lips. All right, you guys, so as far as favorites are concerned for the month of January, I have food favorites. I have fragrance, both home fragrance and body fragrance. I have skincare and a little bit of makeup. Um, so let's just uh, hit this with food. I don't do this often, but when I do find stuff that I really love and I really enjoy, I uh, will want to share it with you guys. All right, first off is empty. <laughs> Um, but it's by Pure Leaf, Real Brewed Tea in Raspberry, but I also like the raspberry, I like the green tea, uh, and the lemon. I like, I think that's all of them, but there might be more, but those three I've tried. Raspberry is my favorite, then probably the green tea, and then probably the lemon. This is like sweetened tea. Uh, in Canada, we don't know anything. If, if someone in Canada says, I'd like to have some iced tea, it's sweetened tea up here. I know what I made a mistake when I went to the States. Um, and I ordered tea with my, or iced tea with my dinner and it was, I forgot until it went to my lips and I was like, dang, I forgot where I was. <laughs> um, and realized it was just cold brewed tea. I forget that and I apologized and I was like, oh, I should know better. So anyway, I really enjoy the Pure Leaf uh, brewed tea, so I really like that. And something I have posted on my Instagram, uh, Canada Kim 1978 Canada spelled with a K. K-A-N-A-D-A, -A -A, 1978, or Kanda Kim, oh my god, you guys. K-A-N-A-D-A, -A -A, K-I-M, 1978. Um, something I really, really enjoyed, and I found the other kind to this, too. So I had a, a fellow Canadian follower who told me about the second kind. The one I had posted is by Smart Food, Indulgence uh, tenta Tentations, I don't know, I think. And I know it's probably French, which is supposed to be Temptations, but um, this is popcorn drizzled with dark chocolate and raspberry drizzle is what they call it. This is so good, you guys. I found this at my local grocery store here on the West Coast, Save On Foods for me. Um, I can have three cups of this and really feel not that guilty. You know, for a snack, there's, you know, it's not bad. Anyway, there's the, the write-ups on the back, but... It's not as bad as many other things, but I really like this. And then a fellow subscriber told me to keep an eye out because there was another kind out there. It was, and it's a milk chocolate and caramel drizzle. And I haven't tried this one yet, but as soon as I found it at my store, I picked it up. So I've been waiting for this video so I can maybe open this up and have a snack this afternoon. So that is that. That's it for the food. Okay, let's go to skincare. Um, for Christmas in my stocking, Santa sent me something that looks as though it may have come from Winners, but Santa was really good about peeling off price tags. Um, but it was these firming and toning collagen face masks. Now, as for the name of the company, it's uh, Nature Love. They have, how many of them are here? There were five face masks. I've gone through four of them and they're just like your typical face masks um the cloth ones and in addition to that like i've been trying to do face masks not all, every other day i can't do it that way but you know a few times a week so i've gone through five of these ones and it says it's infused with collagen and marine algae extracts to reduce moisture loss and leave skin firmer or sorry softer firmer and more supple I really like fa face masks. I'm having a lot of fun with them and I feel like they do the trick. Like they're moisturized, hydrating, even in the winter, especially in the winter time, they're hydrating. Um, but then I've got these ones that if you remember a haul I did at Sephora, I think it was just after Christmas or just before Christmas, I can't remember. I found these pack. It's a six pack of single use ultra microfiber sheets face masks by Too Cool for School. And there's three different kinds actually in here. And each, there's one here for hydrating, or there's two hydrating, two pore tightener, and two firming. 
And so I've used one of each of these. Now I have, before I purchased this, I had purchased separately, excuse me, hiccups, separately the hydration one before. And I really liked it. So I thought, well, in Canadian dollars, I think it's like 35 or $36 Canadian. So in, in America, it'd be far less than that. Um, but six masks, and um, I really like them. There's nothing, you know, the pore tightening one, I, whatever. I just feel like they're really nice. They're moisturizing. It doesn't matter. And there's a lot of, uh, when you pull up that tab open, take the face mask, put it on your face. I normally have a bath while I'm wearing one of these. And when I get out of the bath, I take the um, remainder of the juice inside these contain like these little packets, and I dump it in my hand and I put it all like all down my neck and my chest area because it's good for you. And it's there's no rinsing involved. You put these masks on your face and then Bob's your uncle. That's it. So I really like those. Too, too cool for school is the name of the brand. Um, okay, so in the shower, oh, Rose Jam is my jam. You guys know if you saw my Lush haul or my Lush update uh, collection video, you guys know I have a lot of this. It is my favorite. It's so good. I'm not a floral person, but there's literally, if you were to close your eyes and someone were to place jam and rose petals in front of you. This is exactly what it would smell like. So I have a lot of backups on this. It's my absolute favorite. It's a limited edition from um, Lush, but I really enjoy it. Highly recommend it every year that comes out. Generally, it's for their holiday, like Christmas line, but they generally come out around end mid-October and they sell it right through to and after uh, Boxing Day or the 26th of December. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, let's go with some more skincare. I'm all over the place. I picked up the full size of the Caudalie Premier Cru, the eye cream. I love this morning and night. I found the cream that I adore. I don't have dark circles, so there's no eye. But I find that it hydrates my under eyes. It's funny because I'm so oily in my T-zone. I find that I get really dry under my eyes and I've always shown signs of tiredness. That's where if I'm tired, you're gonna see it in my eyes and my under eyes, uh, deep lines and things like that. So I really like this. Ah, highly recommend this one. And a lotion, I think I've said this before, I'm almost out, which is a little scary. So I think I'm, I'm not sure he'll repurchase this one, but I, I this is a repurchase. I've had this before. Um, this is my second full jar and that's from the from Benefit in Total Moisture. Uh, so that is what I'm using on my face during the daytime and I'm clearly almost out. Uh, really like that again. This is a great, great uh, daytime cream. I don't use this as night. I use oils and more of that kind of thing. Um, and a uh, one main makeup piece that I have to share with you that I am wearing on my eyes today is by Tarte in the Tartist Pro Tarte Palette. Um, Amazonian clay palette. Anyway, not gonna blind you here, but this is the palette here. The beautiful outdoors, it's windy out there. Um, but I'm really enjoying this, and especially this row here, I'm enjoying. There's names on them Glam, Vamp, No. Anyway, you guys know, you can get the gist. I mix them, I don't necessarily stay within like they are their suggested uh sections because i find some of the crease colors or what they're suggesting as crease colors to be a bit dark for me like a little bit too much so i take from other sections and i really enjoy that so that is that and really there is a huge mirror in this and that is lovely too um okay so before we go on to fragrance i've got like personal fragrance as well as a little something else. I've been doing a combo every morning before I go to work, at, like before I do my makeup. I've been really enjoying the Lush Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. Now this is limited edition. I have tried a few different sugar scrubs from, or lip scrubs from Lush before. I really love the Sugar Plum Fairy. I love the bubble gum. The mint julep one is good. Um, I love their scrubbiness and you just basically put it on your lips and you just, Mush together and then you can lick it off. It's great. Um, that's almost everyday use since Christmas or Boxing Day, but it's very good. You don't need a lot. I have a lot to go through from Boxing Day. 
And then on top of it, it's like super cool, you guys. Okay, so this local gal in town, she's 10, she just turned 10 years old. She decided to start her own business. And it's this lip balm called Allie B's Balm, all natural products handmade with love. There's five ingredients to the list, this lip balm. So I put this on after I do the scrub while I'm doing my makeup. It's got vitamin E oil, beeswax, sweet almond oil, lanolin, and coconut oil. And she's actually drawn that bumblebee. And so they've printed that and used it um, as their label. So it's really good. You guys, it actually kicks my Nivea's butt. I'm just gonna go through my Nivea's, get through them, and then I'm not gonna repurchase. I really like it. I actually feel like it doesn't just sit on top of my lips and provide a protection like I feel the Nivea does for me. This actually sinks in and moisturizes my lips, which is very helpful. Um, they have a Facebook page. They only go to markets and stuff, but they've got a Facebook page, and it's I'll, I'll leave it down below, but Allie B's Balm is the Facebook page. She's 10 years old, and she's just starting out, and I think it's awesome. And uh, I know they want to do a venture out and many other things, but I think it's so great that she wanted to do that. So I'm going to support her, and I actually really like it. Um, like I said, I'm gonna use those Nivea's and then that'll be done <laughs> um, okay so I've changed up I don't want to keep using my same fragrance the bourbon by uh, Elizabeth and James so I decided to bring out another different set of Elizabeth and James they're roller balls which I'm not too finicky on roller balls because I can even see like yeah anyway it's kind of yicky but it's the white and the black Nirvana um, again I put the black one on this wrist neck and behind my ear the white one on this wrist my neck and my ear and then I take my wrist and I go like this and I go like that and it's just it's great I love it um I just didn't want to use up all of my Nirvana Nirvana bourbon because it is really nice and I would repurchase and I would repurchase these as well um they've been a staple of my fragrance collection for a while okay wow am I ever talking a lot so two wax melts I absolutely adore um, Swan Creek's Honey Soaked Apples, which is this what Myra, Myra and Ky Kyla, they have a channel here on YouTube. Um, we did a swap for around Christmas time, and this is like they gave me a couple of cubes of the Honey Soaked Apples from Swan Creek. Oh my God! Like seriously, I love this. This was perfect. I couldn't wait. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll wait till fall to use it. I'm like, no. What's the point? I want to smell this now. Oh my gosh. I know it's one of Myra's favorites. I now understand. This is fantastic. This is just a little package that they sent it in. And another item that, as to my knowledge anyway, last I checked, Bathing Garden doesn't send um, products to Canada. So, uh, but this is an absolute favorite of mine. I would probably buy a half dozen to 10 of these. <laughs> and I used these cubes while I was studying for my exam. I had a big uh, exam both written and practical uh, for first responders. And while I was studying, I had this in the evening as a relaxing scent. And it's a bathing gardens uh, clamshell wax in Winter Palace. This was so good, you guys. It does describe it as a lavender, mint, and wild berries. I wouldn't get, I didn't get not a lot of mint. I don't know whether there is, there's definitely lavender in it, you guys, but it's just so nice. I really loved it. There was something about the scent. So I'm really hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping maybe someone can correct me and say Bathing Garden does send to Canada. But last I checked, I don't think that they do ship to Canada. So anyway, this is a favorite and it actually is getting put to the side as well as the honey soaked almonds, as uh, honey soaked apples as things I would hope to get down the road. I'm keeping tabs with my wax melts. Um, and oh and then this was sent to me by my friend from florida she sent a whole care package which was absolutely amazing and i thank her every day because <laughs> and again this was just a standout standout product bathing garden was very strong for me uh two candles left one was Velespa's, and i'm not sure which is going up first i'm hoping that the, the review of this candle is going to go up first Velespa's japanese blossom it's beautiful burnt gorgeously to the bottom this jar lit and my uh, Instagram i again whenever it does if it's up already before or not I'm not sure the Instagram photo I posted of the or will be posting of this is just is glorious it's a beautiful candle and for a little tiny candle 
it threw a, a great punch. Such a clean burn, and I hope to reuse this jar. So that's Velispa's Jas Japanese Plum Blossom. And okay. lastly, something I know Anthony over at Candle Cafe, um, he's saving for spring, and man, if I could have gone back to Bath and Body Works and bought like three or four more of these, because I don't think they're selling them anymore. I think it was just, a, oddly enough, a Christmas exclusive. Bath and Body Works Peach Meringue. This was beautiful. It was like those those Campinos, those peach Campinos candies that you can get at the store. It's beautiful. It truly smelled like I had a creamsicle with, instead of orange, it was peach. It was wonderful. So you guys, those are my favorites for January 2016. And as always, thanks again for joining me. And uh, yeah, take care and have fun.